age movie following in the footsteps of The Breakfast Club, it's Stand By Me. And as we see in the spectacular now, the only thing more complicated than young love is your first love. Take a look. Do you live around here, Sutter? How do you know my name? You go to the same school. You wouldn't uh, know who I am. I know you. You're, uh... Uh... <laughs> I'm Amy. Amy Finicky. That's what I was gonna say. Nice to meet you, Amy. And star Shailene Woodley and Miles Teller are here with us now. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank the you. chemistry right now. I know you guys yeah. have great chemistry. Yeah. Did you work together before this movie? No. 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 <laughs> they even answer at the same time. <laughs> very cute. Very cute. Yeah. Okay, Shailene, this is they're calling this the, the next great coming of age movie. How would you describe it? I would I would say that that's very accurate. I think that it's very rare that you get an authentic portrayal of what it's like to be an adolescent in today's society and I think that this is a really beautiful look at that. Mm -hmm. And without giving too much away, Miles, when you all read this script, were you shocked? I by... die at the end. I'm stopping, he does <laughs> not. <laughs> really, it's really sad, everyone feels bad. You're, so, you're not helping. No, okay. seriously though, what? were you shocked when you read through this script to see what happens? You know, don't give away, but... I mean, I thought that it was the best script that I'd ever read, yeah. really. The guys who wrote 500 Days of Summer wrote it, Michael Weber and Scott Neustadter. So I was just, I was uh, really excited to be able to work on it. But yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of twists and turns, and there's stuff that happens in this movie that when we saw it at the premiere with an audience, people just literally jumped out of their seats. It's not yeah. predictable not at, all. at all. No, and no. there's a lot There's a lot that you go through in this movie. There's a lot of tender moments. There's a lot of dark moments. Yeah. So as an actor, what do you think is harder for you to play? It's hard to not, I don't want to give anything away, but there's, yeah. wherever this, whatever you're shooting, you have to get to that place. So there's one particular scene, it was really late at night and we had to just be coming from something pretty uh, traumatic, yeah, yeah, emotionally stirring. And for that, you just have to get yourself in this kind of frenzied state or whatever it is, but no one tells you how to do it. And so you it's just all hard. It's, yeah, it's all pretty hard. Yeah. Falling in love is easy. Yeah. When it's me, When you it's have me, right? when it's this me. girl right here. It's me. We I love the same thing. thing. Well, let me, is, is it when you, when you have a scripted <laughs> scene, when you have words to say, falling in love is easy. Well, yeah, in the love scene, you, you all do yeah. so well. Just bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Thank, you. Thank you. I worked hard at that one. Well, when you want, when you And I never practiced. Uh, oh, yeah, me <laughs> Well, you're teaming up again, too, which is exciting and divergent, yeah. right? And this is kind of geared towards being the next Hunger Games is what people are saying. So are you ready for this? Yes. Are, you, are you loving these photographs that we have? Funny. These photographs are amazing. Best thing about the internet. But, but that's a, Hunger Games is such a huge thing. It changes your life. I mean, I, I know, Shailene, that this could be kind of something that might change things for you. Yeah, I mean, people say that, but I, you can't think about that, you yeah. know, because it's so far in the future, and obviously we really hope that the movie does well, but I think to to apply that to yourself on a personal level and think about how your life might be affected is just go crazy. Just enjoy things like uh, Comic Con. I, I, could use, I could use a little fame right now. Well, your grandma. I'm tired can of we talk about your, your grandma? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and her having some fame. We'll have to get to that Muff later. the Queen. Yes. All right. Well, yeah. you can catch Shailene and Miles in oh the spectacular now when it opens. She is in Los Angeles on out. August the second. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> we love your grandmother. Yeah.